Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you may be. So today's build is something I'm so excited about. I will give a bit of context first by saying I have been trying to rebuild the worlds, which I have definitely taken on more than I probably intended to, because not only am I building a mixed pack save, using all of the packs. I'm also trying to build a base game only save using base game and the pack of that world. So it could be base game and cats and dogs for Brindleton Bay. But I'm also trying to build a base game and CC save, which is ridiculous. And I thought it was a fun idea. And I was like, there's not that many worlds in The Sims. It'll be fine. I did the math. Like... <laughs> I spent a whole day doing the math because I had to just keep like double checking. I went through and counted all of them, added them up because I couldn't find it anywhere online. But there is like 230 something worlds in The Sims. I was like, what? Or not worlds, 230 lots. I was like, that is ridiculous because I also really want to do definitely the vacation lots and I want to kind of do the sneaky hidden lots. Like, probably not the Hermit's Lot from Not Jungle Adventure, Outdoor Retreat, because I actually kind of liked it. I thought it was cute. I didn't see anything wrong with that lot. It can stay. But I wanted to do, like, the top of Mount Komorebi and the Realm of Magic World, how you, like, travel through the portal and you get to the other one. I wanted to do all that. But all up, it was, like, 230-something worlds, and I was like, that is a lot. But it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so this pack, oh, this pack, this build will be a part of the mixed pack save because I just didn't know how to do it without using all of the packs. Like every build, I don't know how to do it without all, using all of them, but it's fine. So this build is a bookshop and a cafe, and I am obsessed. I love bookshops, I love cafes, I love bookshop cafes, and I wanted one in The Sims. I needed it. I haven't actually seen many because I had a look on the gallery because I wanted to see some inspiration, had a look on Pinterest as per usual, and I actually didn't find a lot of pictures of what I wanted. So I just kind of winged it a bit, and I am so happy with how it turned out. So this build is in Windenburg. It is in the lot that I think was originally just a cafe. It might have been a nightclub. No, I think it was a cafe. So it was where the cafe in Windenburg originally was, and I was like, I am going to make it a better cafe. And I was going to just like renovate the lot they already had, but I had a look at it and I had a fiddle around and I was like, no, this is kind of ugly and it's not what I want. So I just rebuilt it all. And I've also now rebuilt one of the other lots in this little section. So that's exciting. I think I made it into a community space actually. Yeah, I did. I made it into a community factory which will be coming in the next few weeks, maybe. I don't know if I filmed a video for it. Who knows? We'll find out later. So, <laughs> this lot I tried to keep with kind of the similar style and everything that was already there and the style of the buildings around it because it definitely would have looked a bit out of place if I just plonked a modern build in the middle of Windenburg. But I had so much fun with this. I had a look at a few different pictures on Pinterest and most of the bookshop cafes I saw at least happened to be like in an alley sort of thing so it was like a building between other buildings and I didn't really want to do anything like that so I went with this one instead which was also originally like four stories on Pinterest and I was like that's ridiculous so this one is only two stories. It's got the bookshop on one side, which I put like a blue warning, and it has its own separate entrance and retail counter. So you can choose which one you want to go into, but you can access both of them when you're inside. So if you just want to go into the bookshop, you can go in that side, and there's steps, obviously, into the cafe, but you can choose to just look at books. I put a few seats, so maybe you just want to sit and read. Maybe they've got like 
second hand books you can read or library style sections I'm not sure imagine it how you please that's just what I thought so I did that I also got a chance to use the signs for the outside so I did there was a cafe one I don't think there was a book one. Oh no there was a book one so I put a book and a cafe and I love it I'm so excited and then at the cafe I originally just had a like coffee counter but in the end I ended up going back and putting a little bench in behind it with a dishwasher and a sink and I think maybe a fridge I'm not sure I did put like a tiny little open kitchen so it's very cozy I put several fireplaces in there's lots of places for your sims to sit the lot itself is set as a cafe though so you can run it like that and I think it would be so fun I'm so excited to put this in the save and play with it I just oh, I just had so much fun building this I was so happy with how it turned out I spent a lot of time working on this off camera and on camera I just oh, I spent a long time on this I watched a lot of drag race while I was trying to do this but I just oh, it was so exciting <laughs> so I initially forgot to put bathrooms in as well so I did have to go in and pop them upstairs there's the outdoor seating area as well so your sims can choose if they want to get their cup of coffee and browse the bookshelf aisles or maybe they want a cup of tea who knows who am I to judge or they can go upstairs and there's some more seating up there where you can also just overlook the cafe area there's the bathrooms upstairs obviously there's also an outdoor seating area that has a bar because I thought that was kind of fun maybe the bar also does coffee but I think it just looks kind of cute and I had a lot of fun with this I went for kind of a brownie color scheme inside it's not very bright and colorful but I think it it serves the purpose I wanted it to I think it looked quite cute it looks very cozy with all the brown tones as well and I'm really happy with it I did use all the packs again I just I can't I can't help it I tried to like restrict my pack usage and then I I just couldn't it just didn't happen <laughs> so I apologize for that however if you would like to download this and you do have all the packs it will be up in the gallery my origin ID is Zoe Kate 12 and I hope you enjoy this because I did I had so much fun with this I would love to own like a bookshop cafe or just work in a bookshop cafe I'd like to even just go to one I don't know if there's any near where I live I have had a look unfortunately I can't find any but I'm definitely going to find one and I'm going to go to it and I'm going to buy books and read I'm gonna buy books and read tea yes I'm going to buy books and sit down drink my cup of tea read my books and just have a fun time I also included I wanted to put in the kind of record player looking thing but it was a bit big so I put a jukebox in the end because I thought it was so fun I thought it'd be such a cute idea and I think it would just be so much fun to play in this so I wanted to include the cupcake machine in as well but I didn't think of that till the very end and by then there was like not any space where it would fit so I included a cupcake machine in the factory that's next door to this so if your sim doesn't have a cupcake machine at home which it's very unusual for any sim to have a cupcake machine at home they can always just pop over to the factory and make their cupcakes there or they can obviously bake them in house which is why I ended up putting a little kitchen and put them in the display windows I don't know if the display windows function when they're facing backwards like that maybe they have to have them turned around to get things out but I think it just looked visually nicer because that way you could have the display window up against the actual window and then when you're outside you can see in and see in all the baked goods 
and then you're like, yes, I need that, please, and then you come in and buy them, and then you go to wherever else you please. Maybe you go browse the factory, which is a community space, but the community space functions no matter what you select it as, because I want to be able to do everything at the same time, with no matter what it says. So I did that, I made sure I included loads of everything. There's obviously a thousand bookshelves here, so there's no shortage of books, and if you love books, and you love tea, and cafes, and bookshops as much as I do, then I think you'll have a lot of fun playing with this. It is so much better than I thought it was going to be. Like, it started off so bad. <laughs> I just, it was really a trust the process build, this one, but it I'm so pleased with the final result, and I just think it's so cute. Oh, I just want to, I would like to live here. If it had a third floor with like a bed, or even like just a bed, a bed in a room, that'll do me. No, if it had a third floor with like a little mini apartment, I think that'd be super fun. I wish there was some sort of feature like that where you could have apartments on top of cafes, but also that would be here. I think definitely too complicated for The Sims 14. It would be too complicated for me. I have no idea how you would pull that off. But I think if we could, that would be so much fun to be able to live above your little cafe and then, ah, oh, that would be the dream. <laughs> so I ended up putting a lot of plants in this build as well. I used a lot of debug plants. There's this one kind of hanging looking plant that like hangs over the, I don't even know where it came from, but I put that all around the railings and I think it looked so pretty. It just really livened the whole place up because these table and chairs upstairs, they were cute, they were nice, they were fun. It's what I wanted, but they just weren't like, they weren't doing it for me. There needed to be some greenery. There needed to be a lot of greenery. So I included a lot of greenery. <laughs> as you can see as we enter the screenshots. So again, if you want to download this, it will be on the gallery. My origin ID is Zoe K12. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Ooh.